We're now going out to our Lloyd Allen, who's standing by with Thursday's traffic report. Good morning again, Lloyd. Well, it's a great start to your Thursday morning. We're reporting your first look at traffic right here from the nation's hub. This is uh, Rosson Square in downtown Nassau, and already we can see uh, several motorists making their way to their various destinations. This morning, I'm joined by Sergeant Crestonia Johnson from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division, who is giving us a look at overnight traffic. Good morning, Officer Johnson. A pleasant good morning to you, and a pleasant good morning, Bahamas. Overnight, we've had seven accidents, three of which involved injury and four just involved regular damage to vehicles. We had no hit and run accidents and we had no traffic fatalities. All right, so some good news there, but of course, uh, we talked earlier and, uh, and we've heard that there seems to be a proliferation or an increase to some incidents happening near to curfew. What advice do you offer to motorists if they find themselves in that predicament? Yes, we've found, like you stated, there's an increase of accidents that's, that's occurring more in that evening time, especially getting close to curfew time. We're just asking the motoring public, if you are going to be utilizing the streets at that time, please contact the 311 or 511 hotline. Give the information to the persons at the hotline to get, just to be on, let them know that you're going to be on the street during that period of time. So you don't have to rush and conduct this dangerous driving behavior, trying to get to wherever it is that you need to go. And last but not least, uh, you know, I have a friend, I'm not obviously not going to call their name, but they've racked up several traffic tickets. And so uh, what, what advice do you offer the persons who find themselves in that predicament who may have several traffic tickets under their belt, so to speak? Well, when I think about just t tickets on the whole and think about what type of tickets, because if your vehicle is in a particular manner and it's not fit to be on the road, that's that's a uh, regular offense. But if you're doing behavioral, those behavioral offenses where it's, it's excessive speed and you've racked up an excessive amount of speed tickets, then if I got one today, one tomorrow, one the following week, then again, the problem is not the, the officer who's citing you. The problem then is the driver. So I'm just advising the, the motoring public, if you do find yourself in these type of predicaments to please even so with your vehicles if it's not in the condition to be on the street just have to take the time to get these vehicles bought up to date and if you're speeding please just slow down plan ahead make sure you have these things under wrap make sure it's, it's, it's where you can plan and not have to again use excessive speed we find again that a lot of our excessive speed persons who are cited they come from on the JFK thoroughfare down um, on the Coral Harbor Road on the open roads where they feel as if not much persons are going to be on that street at that time and especially getting to the airport so we're asking persons as much as possible to just utilize and drive the street using due care and attention. Now, of course, some great advice there. Unfortunate for me, I happen to live in that area, so I will keep that information at the forefront of my brain as I make my uh, transition to and from work. Any final advice? Yes, my mind still is on those racking up, up tickets. So just how we have character references, we have traffic records, and your traffic record is going to be affected. So if you have a, 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 an excessive amount of tickets, if you go before the court, your file is before the court, we can advise the prosecutor to advise the, ma to the magistrate in the matter that your, that this person is a prolific traffic offender, and worst case scenario, you would have your driver's license suspended for a period of time. Now, in an ideal world, of course, uh, I guess a payment plan would have been great for traffic tickets. But unfortunately, uh, this uh, doesn't happen here. And so some great advice coming in from Officer Johnson for persons who may have multiple traffic tickets. Get those tickets, uh, tickets paid. Uh, but of course, you want to continue to monitor your speed and other aspects of your vehicle as you're on the streets. Reporting here from Rawson Square, downtown Nassau, Lloyd Allen and Officer Johnson for the morning edition. LaDon, back to you.